Welcome back to Epic Fashion. Ow. For this video, we are going into some Disney villains, some gothic, modern Disney villain looks. I will say, if I'm not, you know, all energetic today, I am sorry. I didn't get a lot of sleep. I blame the men in my house. Past few days, my dad has thought it was really funny to put like a little chirper thing around the house. So that we're thinking like either a bug is stuck in the house or the electronics are going off and we just can't find out where it is and he kept putting it in different spaces and last night he decided to choose my room to put it in and it went off all night like every 23 minutes or something it would just beep <sighs> and then also my brother told me about a spider he killed recently which if you don't know spiders are literally my worst fear so I was thinking about spiders all night too men. They said sorry. It's fine. But anyways, also I wanted to discuss something with you guys real quick. I just recently got a comment on one of my videos about needing to talk about where I got my clothing items from. If I wanted to like advertise those pieces of items, which I'm not specifically advertising my clothing items. I'm giving ideas and I'm also showing kind of costumey things, cosplay things that I have, just kind of showing and sharing with you guys. Also, I wouldn't remember where I got every single piece of clothing from. I've had a lot of these clothes in my closet for years. A lot of them are hand-me-downs, honestly. So I don't know where they came from. And a lot of them, the companies probably aren't selling those clothing items anymore. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. There are, I am wanting to do specific company clothing hauls in the future. I am hoping to do a Walmart one soon. Just because honestly, Walmart is popping off lately. And I wanted to get some fall outfits together to show you guys. So I am wanting to do them in the future and I will of course be saying where they are from, but that is not the point of my videos. I just want to give ideas and show you what I have. Now that we've discussed that, I just wanted everyone to know that. Let's get into the video. So I've got four Disney villains that I have picked out and we are going to start out with Scar from The Lion King. This one was difficult, I will say, because it is not a person. It is an animal, but let's get into it. So I added this mesh top to add to the gothiciness of this video. I put on this shirt. I was thinking about doing it inside out just to have it be the color and not like have this logo on it. But I honestly, I don't like that trend. <laughs> I do not like that trend. I like having things the way that they're supposed to be. Who knows, maybe Scar would be into motorcycles and cars. I don't know, whatever, American muscle, I don't know. This orange perfectly matches his furs orange. And then I got black pants and a brownish, orangish brownish belt to kind of go with the top. So these are all colors that he has and it's kind of in a badass way, which I mean he is, so. So I just watched something on the news today. My my dad watches the news and I overheard it. But apparently there's this new fashion trend uh, going on around social media about do-it-yourself DIY braces, which is like, it's just the new like Tide Pod thing. Really, that's how I see it. It's so stupid that of course it's going to, you know, become popular and everyone's going to do it. They're like, hey, I don't want to waste a bunch of money on a dentist giving me braces, so I'll just do it myself, which is stupid. Don't do that. Don't do that. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. We are going to be doing Maleficent next. <laughs> Maleficent. So Maleficent colors, purple and black, just seem to be a lot of like Disney villains colors. I noticed that I have another one for Ursula that is those colors. So again, I have this mesh top to add to the gothic neat, gothic keenness. I cannot work today. And this black dress from my gothic summer outfit ideas video with the all trusty black basic black belt 
and then got a little garter belt just basically to keep these socks up because they're supposed to be tights but i cut them because they were too small but i still wanted them so i turned them into socks but they perfectly go with the purple and the black so i thought i would add them i needed something on the legs because i feel like that felt more maleficent than just bare i think this one is my favorite out of the whole thing all of them i mean the other ones they're good i will not lie i just really like these socks <laughs> and they are tearing a bit but that does kind of add to the whole style that i want for this just the style the style the style the evil style i also kind of wanted to add a cloak that i have that is black and purple that would be perfect for maleficent but it's not very modern i'm gonna go in for modern here maybe you'll see that some other time with another costume i don't have plans for it right now but maybe we'll see we'll see next up is the queen of hearts if you know the original queen of hearts has like a slit in her dress in the front and it has black and yellow stripes on it which is what I wanted to represent in the skirt. Well, it's actually more like a skirt, <laughs> but it's what I wanted to represent in the bottom half of this outfit, along with the fishnets to make it more goth. This is very bright and colorful for goth, but I'm trying to go for more of the style of goth than the color scheme of goth. So of course we had to get the bright red corset looking top. This outfit definitely makes me feel confident. Confident enough to order people's heads be taken off. And I will be honest, I never liked the original Alice in Wonderland. It was very nightmare-like. <laughs> Just like feeding into my nightmares. It was very weird. It was too like, it was like the bad kind of weird is what I felt like it was. Like I like weird shows, like Labyrinth. I just didn't like the energy of it. Now that I have rewatched it and it's like, was feeling still kind of arose, but it was good, you know, it was good. <laughs> I do kind of like more modern renderings of Alice in Wonderland, but, and I kind of like the whole idea of it. I'm a Pisces, I like to be in different worlds, and so that would be like a dream of mine to just fall into a different world. On to the last one, which will be Ursula. here we have Ursula. Ursula. Whatever. So I felt like this top is definitely got really long arms that could represent her tentacles and a lot of holes in it to kind of represent the witchiness and outcastness of Ursula. I put white on because like Hair is white, right? Like she's old. <laughs> and then this skirt, which always is very flowy, and the bridges are like wavy. So I feel like I always want to use that to represent like underwater characters, if that makes sense. Does it make sense? I hope it makes sense. And I also still wanted something on my legs because I felt that's another Ursula vibe thing going on. So I just got tights on and I liked keeping it long in the back. I don't like it long in the front because I feel like it kind of overcrowds the skirt in a way and I wanted to show it off, but in the back it looks really nice. And of course, again, like I've said before with Maleficent, it's purple and black. Seems to be a theme with villains. It is with Ursula, so I had to go with purple and black top. I don't know if this is like the exact purpleness of hers, but again, the top just kind of screamed Ursula vibes for modern times. As I've talked about a lot, quite a few times on this channel, Ariel is my favorite Disney princess. I don't really like Ursula, but I have always wanted to be or to get the costume cosplay of Vanessa when she turns into a human, when Ursula turns into a human. I always liked Vanessa. <laughs> so that's something that I might do in the future. 
I really like The Little Mermaid because it's my favorite because I'm a Pisces so I feel like I really relate to fish <laughs> and I love water. I have always wanted to be a mermaid you know like when people are like oh you know what kind of fantasy animal would you be? I'm like a mermaid. I want to be a mermaid so bad because I want to live in the water and I honestly all three movies of Little Mermaid I love. The sequels or whatever always get hate but I love them. Like the third one honestly was my favorite one for the longest time. Now I don't know. I kind of like the second one. But also the first one is so classic. So I don't know. I like, I like all of them. And I took a folklore class in college a few semesters ago and we had to do like the big project was taking a story that we know and finding three versions of it and like comparing. And so I did like the original Brothers Grimm story, the cartoon, and then the newest live action version. So I know a lot about The Little Mermaid. I know a lot about the history and the original story. And so that kind of just adds to my love and obsession for it. Anyways, rant over I guess just random facts rant over I am so tired right now <laughs> I wanted this is like Labor Day weekend Monday and I really wanted to use this weekend to catch up on sleep because I have been able to I haven't been able to sleep with getting up early for school I gotta wake up 6 a.m for school every day I wanted to use this weekend to catch up on sleep because lack of sleep has really messed with my mental health lately. And of course, the last night that I had to catch up on sleep, I had to be messed with. They didn't know that, so I'm not really holding that against them. Whatever. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and share. And subscribe, of course. Remember to follow your dreams. I feel like that's a very Disney lesson. And Disney has definitely been a huge impact in my life. I love that my outro is remember to follow your dreams and I love you guys. You guys have been like great lately and I am so grateful for you guys. So thank you so much. I love you guys. Bye.